Hey, I'm here at the Digital Marketing Show 2014 with Rachel Pollard from Just See. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much. Welcome to the Dot Rising Studio. Thank you for having me. Well, you're welcome anytime. You're so polite. <laughs> <laughs> Not normally. Um, so, could you tell me a bit about your company, what you do, what you're doing here today? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, obviously, work at Just Eat. I'm the head of digital CRM there. Uh, we are an online aggregator for uh, takeaway restaurants. Um, we are uh, by by quite some margin the big the biggest kind of competitor in our space right now. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm presenting today. I'm presenting. Uh, the Road to Social CRM Enlightenment, which I'm now worried sounds like a self-help book, if I'm honest with you. Um, but really what I'm, what I'm talking about today is um, the com complex nature of CRM, you know, in the current climate, in the very kind of social and mobile engaged uh, kind of world, and the importance of coming back to basics in terms of understanding your consumers, understanding your brand, and, you know, not losing sight of the basic stuff uh, around marketing, which is right message, right person, right place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, I'm throwing in a few examples of some of the uh, kind of mischievous stuff we've been up to across social as well. We're very, very socially engaged. Um, we've got a lovely brand as well, which is always fantastic. So we've got a great personality and. Yeah, we're rocking it right now on social. I think so too. Like I said earlier, I, I'm your biggest fan. Um, <laughs> what are you doing that your competitors aren't doing? Uh, so we, we are willing to take risks, I think. We're willing to test and we're willing to fail. You know, sometimes not every single thing that goes out uh, across CRM or social is, is brilliant. And we are open to kind of criticizing that internally, uh, feeding back and trying to l learn from that and develop moving forward. So it also helps. We've got the largest by, by quite some margin network of restaurants, which always helps keep our consumers coming back. So. It's my favourite part. Um, so, looking ahead to the next year, obviously you're very heavily socially engaged. What what do you think is going to be the be biggest thing in social next year? Oh, in social. Um, so for me, in so from a social media perspective, it's not so much about the different platforms. There's lots of new platforms constantly popping up. Um, I think for me, it's about using the right platforms correctly. So I'm not sure it's actually a new thing, but I think we tend to, I think a lot of brands tend to just kind of go on the everything, the latest platform, be there, be the one of the first kind of adopters. And actually for me, next year, certainly at Just Eat anyway, it's about really understanding the balance between each of the platforms, what they bring to the table, what they bring more to our consumers, forgetting us as a brand, what are our consumers doing on Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter, and it's ensuring that we are kind of delivering what the correct kind of value across those platforms. Um, Awesome. It's not very new, I'm afraid. Just, just kind of basics. <laughs> no, well, it's certainly working. Um, so, we're at the Digital Marketing Show. Why do you think conferences like this are so important for the industry? Uh, I think it's extremely important. If I be honest with you, I mean, I'm now 15 years, sadly, working in this industry. I, for me, this is the marketing show. You know, it's for me the difference between digital marketing and kind of traditional marketing. They're, they're just one and the same. Um, I think it's really important. It's exciting to see. I've walked around today already see so much young talent, you know, see so many young people, there are a few students here, kind of there's kind of people kind of starting their career. And it's really exciting to get that together with people perhaps a bit older than the two such as myself and kind of merge that together. Because I think for me digital is all about constant innovation. It, that's what keeps it so exciting, keeps it fresh. Um, so I think it's extremely important to have those kind of you know different types of people, different experiences coming together, having a chat. I learn so much from especially the younger guys in my team. You know, they come up with all these ideas, they're constantly challenging me, and I love that. So yeah, this is kind of what it represents to me. Okay, cool. Um, and it would be a shame to leave without mentioning Christmas. So what do you think is going to, what, what's your favourite social campaign this year on uh, Christmas adverts or on TV? So I love Christmas. I'm a mum, I've got two boys. I'm a total Christmas fiend. Um, uh, I like the John Lewis one as much as it's very cute and lovely. I'm actually, my youngest has a, has, a, has a penguin, so, you know, you can't love it. But actually, for me, in terms of favourite ad to watch, it's probably the Boots one. Me too. I yeah. really, really like that. Do you know, I think because it, it is a bit schmaltzy, bit, just, just enough to be Christmas. Yeah. But it feels so much more real. You know, it feels like a real ad. It's kind of, you can, it's relatable. Um, rather than, I mean, you know, again, love Coca-Cola. When that, that ad, ad starts, you know it's Christmas coming. Yeah. But actually, for me, the Boots one feels more real, and they kind of got a slightly different angle, which I, I, I really respect as well. So. Yeah. It makes me feel warm, like a uh, curry from Just Eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Vindaloo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us, and have a great day.